Hey guys, so we're making candy cane cookies. Yep, and we thought we would videotape it and just do a little vlog and yeah. kind of show you guys how to make candy cane cookies. So, so um, it's not going to be like a total like step-by-step -step video. You're just going to kind of see us doing it, but you'll still know how to do it. So yeah, we'll just get into it now. Here we go. Here is the recipe for candy cane cookies. So the first thing I have to do is mix these ingredients in order. So we'll do that. So the first thing we need is one cup of sugar. Do you want to do it? Here's one cup. Let's see if we can get the rest of this. We don't have very much left. Um, if not, there's more in the cabinet. Oh, you saw more? Yeah. Christmas music while we're doing this? We do. We do need, we do need that. Baby, all I want is you. Doing this at yeah. Well, the night. All nighter. You're gonna need one cup of sugar for this, one cup of powdered sugar, which is like the confectioner sugar. So that's just what we have, and then one cup of butter. So two sticks. And they need to be thawed, but unlike us, we're being rebels and we're going to put them in the microwave. And then one cup of shortening, which we didn't have. So another two sticks of butter, which can be substituted for shortening, because you know shortening isn't really found in houses that much. And so, as Ashley says, this is going to be a heart-stopping cookie. And then we need two beaten eggs, which we'll get later. And then four and a half cups of sifted flour. So we've got our bag of flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of cream of tartar, which looks like this. Yeah, just put it in there. And then one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla. All right. So, so the next thing we need is one cup of powdered sugar. So here you want me to do it now. So we're just going to open this little baby up. So there is the powdered sugar. And like she earlier said, we have to put them all in order and mix them all in order. That says in the recipe. That's what it says in the recipe. At least. Do it as we're told. And then what else do we need? One um, cup of butter now. Yes. So we're gonna have to go put that in the microwave for a second. Should I do 15? 15? Uh, yeah, I'd say 15. Just for now. Get a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put the butter in the microwave. Yeah. Technically, you're supposed to let it thaw, but yeah. yeah. But we're we can do that. We are Maybe. rebels. So well, there's rebels. the butter. Did you know you can get radiation if you stand in front of the microwave? You can't get enough. Studied it in biology. And there's the dog, really excited for candy cane cookies. Kimmy, Kimmy, right, Bella? Right? Yeah. Still going. Well, it doesn't need to be completely melted. Well, I know, but like the sides are still hard. All right. That is good. We are ready. Yeah, so two sticks of butter melted. equals one cup. For all y'all. Oh shoot, one's melting a little bit. That's oh, okay. oh, well. it always happens. That's fine. So you missed it, but Ashley melted one of the butters too much. And she dropped it all over the floor. Well, not the actual butter, but some of the. And now my dog is in heaven. <laughs> but so now we have to take two eggs and we have to beat them together in a bowl. So we'll get the bowl. can speak my And so. Ooh. Ooh, she smelled my butter. All right, so you want to do the honors? I would love to. <laughs> Crack that egg. So now we have to beat it together. So just gonna get a mixer. So yeah, just beat them until they're perfectly mixed. Mmm. <laughs> Num nums. Okay, what do we have next, Ash? Okay. What do we have next? Okay, next. Sifted flour. Yes, yeah, sifted. Right. Here is Bella looking the cabinet door because there's some butter still on there. So, yeah. Obsessed. Obsessed, and I'm upset because I got my ring all gunky. So, we're going to have to clean that later, huh, Belle Belle? Bubba. See, I like butter. I like butter. Yeah. 
So this is what it should basically look like now, a mountain of sifted flour. Gotta love the sifting. We had to change the bowl because the other one was like we're going way too slow now. I'm just getting tired. So yeah, there's the flour. So now we add one teaspoon of soda. Baking soda. Yes. If you don't know why you use baking soda, baking soda helps it rise. She knows what she's talking about. I do, I bake a lot. This is like getting... Come on. Where are you? Alright, there's that. One teaspoon of that. One teaspoon of salt. And then one teaspoon of vanilla, which we just use. Vanilla is my favorite. The Mexican kind. Um, you got this from New Mexico, right? Yes. Yeah. We got vanilla from Mexico. That is the best kind. Mm -hmm. Sad to say, though, now they do not sell it to you in glass bottles. It's all plastic. This is plastic. Yeah. I know. Oh. They used to sell it in I glass. I add a little bit more vanilla because it just makes it taste. Mm -hmm. It does. It makes it taste a lot better. Okay, so now we have to mix this all together. And Did so, you add cream of tartar? Oh no, I, I skipped over it. One teaspoon of cream of tartar. Come on, <laughs> forgot about that. Where's the cream of tartar? I've never used this in baking. I have, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't know either. What is this? Ooh, it helps you make angel food cake. Oh, then it must be good. Come on. Ooh. Yep, I'm going kind of crazy with this. That's good. Alright, that's good enough. Something in there anyway. Alright, so we've got that, and so now we mix it all together. <laughs> um, so, of course, just use a blender like moi. Let's drop an egg everywhere. And so, yeah, we'll just mix it all together, and then we'll come back. Alright complicated mixing. Um, for some reason the butter did not want to mix with the dough stuff so it took a while so I had to use like the knife process where you have one on each side and yeah but it eventually cut the dough I mean the butter apart so it should look like that now and so now we have to separate the dough and yeah and Ashley is getting the food coloring and my dog is barking at her for some reason Bella what you doing? What are you doing? So, okay, so basically, cut, put another, well, we'll show you. So, basically, you just have to put, I'm, I'm repeating myself oh, way too much. We gotta do half of it first. Yeah, so we gotta split the dough. Ashley's going to be doing that. <laughs> so, put a little bit of the dough in this bowl. We're going to put the red dye in this bowl. Just a little bit, so I'm gonna say about three drops. And then we'll see how much more we need after that. So here's the red dye, here's no dye, and so now we are just going to chill it until, it doesn't really say, just till it gets cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically all we're going to do. So, just going to put it in the fridge, and I forgot to mention, it doesn't say on the recipe, but it says at the end of the recipe, you need candy canes because you crush them over the cookie while it's still warm when it comes out of the oven. So, you at least need like eight candy canes for this, and yeah. So, we're chilling the cookie dough right now. And so now Ashley and I are just going to relax and watch something while... Not really sure what that something is yet. No, we don't. You know. Where's the remote? I don't know. Remote? Oh, here's my Christmas tree, guys, if you want to know what it looks like. And all my presents. <laughs> I'm a greedy child. And then the random one over there, I don't even know why. So, what should we watch, Ashley? So we chilled it for about, what do you want to say, 40 minutes? And I'm eating some yeah. of the dough. Probably. So now what you need to do is take a small amount of each of the dough. Ashley, will you be our demonstrator? I will. <laughs> so take some of the red. And about that much. And then take, so put that in like the cigar form is what it describes in the direction. So you just want to like make it like a worm, I guess. So that's probably good. Like that. And then take a little bit of this dough. It 
sorry, we can cut it off a little bit. So just do the same thing. All right. Okay. Probably need to make that a little bit shorter. Yeah. It's falling apart. Just put that back in there. And then you intertwine them. It's okay. Like so. And then you turn it into a candy cane. Like that. Like that. Alright. So that's just what it looks like. A little candy cane. And then you bake them out as many as you can and fit it on a cookie sheet. And then you bake, you set the oven to 350, and then you put it in there for um, 10 to 12 minutes. So it just depends on how golden the white part gets. So yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we'll show you how they look when they turn out. All Bye. right. So Ashley so says we're gonna look at the obese candy cane cookies. Holy. Okay. Learn from us. Make them smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be good. Oh look, the first one Ashley did is good. Yay! Oh, look at that. They're turning out good. Uh-oh. And we're watching one of our all-time favorite kid shows. Because Because we're cool like that. <laughs> Everybody else like hated the show, but we were I'm like the much number one fans. I have a virtual boyfriend. Oh yeah, Ulrich. <laughs> He's hot. He's and a, a sexy virtu beast. <laughs> in a virtual kind of way. Mm. So yeah, we're just playing out here, watching some Code Lyoko, you know? Oh, if you guys cool have seen this show and know of it, let me know because I feel like I'm the only person, well, me and Ashley, who watched this show. Well, I mean, obviously it's been over for like four years now, but it was like our childhood. Except for my real life boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> it was our childhood. It was our childhood. So if you watched this when you were little, just let us know. We'd love to hear about it. Yeah, we'd love to. <clears throat> Although, you're probably watching this video to see cooking, not... Yeah. To see us talk about Code Lyoko. But... Oh! <laughs> oh. He boxes. He shows us. <laughs> Alright, so now we're taking our candy cane. And we're just going to basically put some in a Ziploc bag. And then we're just going to... Beat them. Crunch them up. <laughs> beat them to death. <laughs> oh, and you... <laughs> so you're just going to take one a of mallet. these little... Is that what it's called? Yeah. A mallet. And or a candy meat cleaver. A meat cleaver. This is our meat. She's <laughs> gonna beat it. We're gonna beat it to a pulp. So basically, you just want some Ooh, of this. Yes. Hey, wait. No. Oh. So, to take the cookies out of the oven, you want to take proper safety precautions <laughs> and put on mitt. Ones look good. Yeah. That one's not round enough. But yeah. And that one looks kind of like a slug. <laughs> Ashley's willing to touch the hot plate. I'm just sprinkling. Be careful, make sure it sticks on there. Alright, so this is basically what the cookie should turn out like in the end. You can always add more peppermint than we did, but, you know, it's kind of hard. But anyway, so that's what they look like, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog slash cooking video. <laughs> um, so stay tuned for more videos. Bye! Bye.